Today, we are covering the mind-blowing process of getting your models into Caddy, as well as verifying the model format works with third-party OBJ and MTL viewers, in addition to how this file is displayed and functions in the Caddy app, as well as the same file in its competition. Let's start with the process to get your models into Caddy. You start by connecting your headset to your computer. Navigate down to Android. Data. Look for the file com.meta.cadd.y2. Then Files. Finally Models. If you put your OBJ and MTL files in here, they will display in Caddy. Caddy is currently limited to five models at a time. I have copied the same OBJ and MTL files to my desktop to test them in a free third-party online 3D viewer to make sure they work correctly. Grabbing the files and drag and dropping them into the free viewer. They display and function 100% correctly. Now let's start with the competition this time. Well, straight out of the gate. The original model colors are displayed correctly just like in the free third-party online. 3D model viewer we saw earlier. Let's see the lack of difficulty in manipulating the model. In Caddy's competitions platform. The model explodes correctly too in this platform. Using the laser pointer, each part can be moved independently from the model itself. Notice when you grab a part, it leaves the original location highlighted for reference until you let go. When you reverse the explosion and put the model back together, the parts you move do not automate back into place, like Caddy's platform does. You can however grab those individual parts and place them back with the help from that original highlighted location being displayed. Grabbing the parts and dragging them towards the highlighted area. You only need to get it close and drop it to have the software snap it back into its original position automatically. Now it is Caddy's turn. First notice how those models from earlier are now displayed in Caddy for you to open. Opening the exact same model. This is what Caddy displays for you straight out of the gate. The original model colors are not displayed. And instead the entire model is now black. Keep in mind that both the free third party 3 model viewer as well as Caddy's competition opened and displayed the exact same model with the original colors. Caddy does however have the hand tracking features which I admit is cool, but at times is still a little bit temperamental. That feature is not currently available in its competitions platform. I would, however, expect to see that added soon. Now let's see how Caddy does with exploding this model into parts. Well, some move, but not all. Plus, the limitation of the movement is very limited on how far you can explode the model. Let's try grabbing the parts now. The parts that moved. When Caddy explodes the model can be manipulated using hand tracking methods. This feature of Caddy's, for the most part, works well. Now, when reversing the exploded model in Caddy, the parts that were moved have an automation of them coming back together. I do like that feature, but I believe it should be an option that you can toggle on and off giving you both options. Keep checking back as we stack up other features in both platforms, side by side. 